Hi everybody, it's Rebecca from the band Dirty Cello, and today I'm going to teach you how to play three simple bass lines. Um, it's good to know how to improvise a melody as a cello player, but sometimes it's also good to know how to create a bass line, like if you're going to play with a band or something like that. Um, you never know when something like this will come up, so it's something good to have in your toolkit. Um, the first bass line I'm going to teach you is a blues bass line, and this is sometimes referred to as a walking bass line. Now, in a previous tutorial, I taught you how to play blues on the cello, um, but today I'll show you how to make a bass line for a 12 bar blues. Um, so this is going to be for a 12 bar blues in G, and it sounds like this. So let's try it together. We're starting on open G. G, B, D, E, F, E, D, B. G, B, D, E, F, E, D, B, C. E, G, A, B flat, A, G, E, G, B, D, E, F, E, D, B, D, F sharp, a, B, C, E, G, A, G, B, D, E, F, E, D, B. Very good. So this was the example that I gave you that was in G. But if you want to make your own for a different key, the way it works is you look at the chord. So say the chord is a C7 chord. You're going to use the first note of that, which is a C. Then you're going to count up to three and you're going to use C, D, E, the third, which is a E. Then you're going to count, count up to five, C, D, E, F, G. You're going to use the fifth, which is a G. Then you're going to go to six, which is an A. Then you're going to go to the seventh, but it's a flat seventh, so that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Then you go back to a six, a five, and then a three. Now, if this is confusing to you, don't worry. I've attached a PDF where you can just look at the notes um, for some common blues progressions. Now I'm gonna grab Jason over here who's playing the guitar and he's playing the chords and you're gonna get to see how the bass line fits with the chords. One, two, ready, go. teach you a bass line that would work well for bluegrass or for country music. For the song, we're going to use Old Joe Clark. Now, Old Joe Clark only has three chords. It has a G, has a D, and an F chord. Now, for each of those chords, we're going to use the root and we're going to use the fifth note. So remember, the root is the first note. So for example, if the chord is G, the first note is a G, then we count up to five, G, A, B, C, D, and we play G, D, G, D. Now for the second chord, we're going to do the same thing. So that's a D chord. So the root or the first note is a D. Then we count up five, D, E, F sharp, G, A. The fifth note is an A. So D, A, D, A. And we do that also for the third chord, which is an F. F, G, A, B, C. F, C, F. So it sounds like this for the bass line. Old Joe Clark, the preacher's son, preached all over the lane. The only text he ever knew was high, low, jack, and game. Okay, so let's try those notes together for a second. So we're going to go G, D, G, D, G, D, D, A, G, D, G, D, F, C, G, D. So we're going to grab Jason one more time, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like. He's going to play the chords. I'm going to play the bass line. I'm also going to sing the melody. One, two, ready, go. Old Joe Clark, the preacher's son, preached all over the lane. The only text he ever knew was high, low, jack, and gay. Good. Now let's have you try it with us. I'm going to say the notes while Jason plays the chords. One, two, ready, go. 
going to teach you how to play a Latin style bass line, particularly from the song Girl from the Ipanema. And a basic Latin style rhythm would sound like this. Now in terms of note choice, we're going to use that root note and the fifth note again. So I'm using G, I'm counting up five, G, A, B, C, D to D, and I'm going G, D, 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 G, D, D. Or another way to do that is root, fifth, fifth, root, fifth, fifth. Let's try that together, the G to D. One, two, ready, go. G, D, 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 G, D, D. Good. Now, again, on that PDF link I attached, I wrote out the exact rhythms and notes. So, to wrap things up, we all know that a cello is not exactly a, a bass, but it can cover a lot of the same territory, and it's good to know some of these simple bass lines. So I'm Rebecca from Dirty Cello, and you just learned three simple bass lines.